It all started with an invitation letter in grade 3 to audition for a spot in St. Michael's Choir School. To that time, I had no musical trainings at all. And other than singing in the shower, I didn't sing that much. My parents said, what do you have to lose? It'll be a good experience going through the selection process. It was intimidating showing up in the audition after a morning hockey game surrounded by boys all dressed up with music or instrument cases. There was no way I stood a chance, I thought to myself. Well, after the audition, testing, and forms to fill out, an answer finally arrived. A letter from Mr. White read, I am pleased to inform you that your son is being offered a place in St. Michael's Choir School. Imagine the excitement, the mystery, and the fun of beginning a new journey in our lives. That journey began at the welcome mass. My parents and I presented the gifts for communion, and it really began to feel special. The new grade four students were made to feel very welcome during their orientation tour. Miss Dunn gave us a stack of music workbooks to catch up on over the summer, which ended up being fun to do. After the welcome picnic on Center Island, we shopped for uniforms and, and a piano and we were ready to go. I didn't have the pleasure of starting in grade three, but I heard many stories from my classmates that it was the best transition into the school they could they have ever imagined. They said that Mr. Collins was very fun and he was one of the biggest influences in their lives. He cared for everyone and always treated special days throughout the year. In grade three, in my case grade four, was the first year for many of us to experience the joy of singing in a choir, learning music theory and doing piano. For me, piano was a whole new experience. Learning how to read music on paper and then play it on the piano to hear wonderful music was the coolest thing ever. My dad tried to learn along with me, but his left hand never left the comfort of being in sync with his right. In grade four, we built castles and Miss Cram made us all feel like kings. She brought out the best in all, out of all of us, and it was no coinky dink that we were all the young men we are today. We experienced so many firsts during grade three and four. First time singing at mass in, in the huge cathedral, first Matthew Hall concert, and our first tour. And how could we forget Operation Podium to, op to Ottawa and staying in a stranger's house? And how cool it was to be reunited with the same host family during this year's tour. In grade five and six, we, had, we all had the privilege to be taught by Mr. Rodriguez and Ms. Yoel Quinn. Most of us will remember when Mr. Rodriguez would ask, what's the matter? And we would say everything. He taught us math, science, and English. He would always joke around if someone didn't state the unit of measurement by saying something like, 25 what, 25 bananas? Picking up where Mr. Tracio left off, Monsieur Oquin taught us French, health, social studies, how to conjugate verbs in our sleep, and also how time is money. Both of these teachers taught us how to be gentlemen, how to behave in society, and they prepared us for the real world. Grade 5 also marked our transition into the junior choir. Compared to the elementary choir, the junior choir was much harder. The main reason was that we sang at Mass every Sunday. On top of that, there were extra concerts and performances. Grade 5 was also our first big tour because it was the school's 75th anniversary. The junior choir got to go to Italy with the senior choir. This was an experience I hope I will never forget. I still can't imagine that we got to sing Mass at St. Peter's Basilica and also perform for Pope Francis. On top of that, we all had a, con we had a concert at the Pontifical Institute of Sacred Music where the founder of our school, Monsignor Ronan, studied music. Miss Began was our conductor at the time, and she was a really great one. She made sure that we all did our homework and memorized our music. It was sad to see her leave, but we were, ha but we were all happy about her baby. While she was gone, we had one of the most fun and memorable teachers a grade six choir boy could have, Mr. Haywood. He let us sing the most fun songs that you could ever sing, and he integrated games into the music theory curriculum. Theory was very difficult, so it was very helpful and fun to play trash to fall to help our three-pointers and our memory of musical terms. Grade seven and eight, we graduated to the senior choir. 
a whole new experience with Doc. What a blast with Doc. He is always joking around and having fun while also getting the job done. With a full range of voices, we get to sing more, some more complicated pieces that amaze our audiences. Miss Dunn is amazing too, and she is also always working on our vocal technique. Newfoundland, the home of our director, Mr. Hendrigan, is a fantastic tour because of its amazing scenery and generous people. These memories will live with us forever. We also learned a lot from our grades 7 and 8 teachers, Mr. Baca and Madame Wakurdo. From math problems to science projects and French class to history and geography, from organizing our agenda to extracurricular activities, they have always been there for us. I remember starting at St. Michael's Choir School like it was yesterday. It felt like it was a million miles away in a far away concrete jungle with many obstacles in between. Now most of us are taking the TTC every day by ourselves and maneuvering downtown like it's our backyard. We have been through ups and downs through our school career. We have learned how to work with each other, respect, and embrace ind individual differences, and to not extinguish the flame inside all of us. One thing that all parents, and especially my mother, have taught us is to never give up on each other or our hopes and dreams. Merci à tous nos professeurs d'être toujours là pour nous que ce doit dans la salle de classe ou après l'école. Nos équipes sportives, club déco, l'art, la cuisine, festival des arts, concerts et autres spectacles ne peuvent se faire sans vous. Surtout, je vous remercie de prendre soin de nous quand nous sommes très, très loin de la maison en tournée. Nous sommes... Nous ne sommes pas faciles. Merci aussi à tous les parents qui aident aussi bien. For some of us, the choir school journey ends here in grade 8. Although we will not continue to sing together, work together, tour together, or play together, our thoughts and prayers will always keep us together, and we will have endured so much so far. As my dad reminded us those days back in grade 4, when we all fought in the car driving to school, we may not always get along like a family, but we're stuck with each other. We've become family. We've become brothers. As we embark in our next journey to high school, I hope that we are all successful and fulfill our hopes and dreams.